We got 30 seconds. And dissolve, F dissolve, Q Waller. Good evening. I'm Walter Cronkite at CBS News headquarters in New York. When television news emerges in the 1950s and especially in, in the 1960s, it acquires a weight of sobriety. Because you were communicating with the entire country. You had three networks. We were all in those days getting the same data. Now there were disagreements about what the truth was. Oh, but we all assumed that the news was true. The conflict between the law and reality has resulted in a national dilemma. Walter was one of the people who first recognized CBS television was going to be where the action was. And that's the way it is. He gave more than just filling in. And people trusted him. But he had a very good supporting company, and they were good. Dan Rathers, Bob Schieffer, Leslie Stahl, CBS News. And you felt like you had the keys to the kingdom and what people needed to know. To say that we are mired in stalemate seems the only realistic, if unsatisfactory, conclusion. The country was massively divided. We were in the middle of the Vietnam War. We were in the middle of Watergate. The Watergate affair. Television became the common experience. So there was a kind of aura of plausibility of truthfulness. Well, here is the situation as of this moment. And when it collided with the official version, that was wrenching. <laughs>